here's one thing we know for sure. The Biden administration is not giving you security today, not after that interview. Do you want people to believe that you think that President Biden has done more objectionable things vis-a-vis -vis our democracy than former President Trump did in the aftermath of the last election? No, I, as you heard, Chris, I, what I said was that I can make this argument, and I didn't say definitively whether I believed one or the other was more dangerous than democracy. I did say that I don't believe either of them are going to destroy democracy. Both sides are telling us the other guy is the end of the republic. But, you know, they, they're both lame duck presidents. They're going to be in there four years. Like their, their, their opponent, political opponents are going to be announced two years later. There'll be a new Congress in two years later. And we, ha we have strong institutions in our country. We have judiciary. We have the press to some extent. We've got Congress and you, you have the military. You've got a lot of institutions that, that are bulwarks against a you know, tyrant coming in and taking over democracy. So I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're both, we're all being told each one is, uh, is a threat because it, it's a way of using fear to force us into a binary choice where we're forced into the canal, into this channel that nobody wants to go to, where we either have to vote for, we have to vote for the lesser of two evils and nobody wants to do that. But it keeps them from, you know, it, it keeps a lot of the public from considering people like me that have much, I have a much higher popularity rating than either of these candidates. I, so more people would rather see me in office than presumably than either of them. Uh, but they are not going to vote for me because the, you know, the media and this whole sort of cartel from both sides is telling them, oh, you have to choose between these two guys. The other guy is so scary. Now, the point I made last night and the way I'm very grateful, by the way, to Aaron Burnett, as you know, CNN has not let me on for a live interview in a decade. And she did that. She was very, very courageous. She gave me a very fair interview. I was really dumbfounded about how fair it was. She pushed back on me a lot and she doesn't agree with me, obviously, on stuff. But she actually let me speak, which was I'm grateful for when CNN Digital got it. They cut my quote so it looked like I was making this definitive statement that Biden was more of a threat to democracy than Trump. And of course, I never said that, but that's a way of making me look crazy to the liberals. Here's the point I didn't make, and I think it's a really important point, is that you have one president who allegedly hasn't been convicted, but allegedly was trying to overthrow an election illegally, which of course is horrible for democracy. You had another president who actually is, has censored speech, and there's courts that have found that he censored speech and have enjoined him from doing it again. So there's actually a court judgment 